Alright, today we're doing license plate covers. Why? Because we can. These are a set old license plates. What better way to make license plate covers than with a license plate? And this is a piece of white polycarbonate mud flap. Yep, they come in various colors. We're going to lay the plate out on there and we're going to draw around it with a pencil. Drawing the holes in so we can use them for later, and we'll drill them out with a regular hand drill. This is what it looks like before we start cutting them out. There are four of them here. So I'm going to make enough for my car and the other white car. My car, the Escort and Max Subaru. We'll do some more on what particularly weapons we're going to use for this. This is one of them. Just your average uh, utility knife. Well, we have a, a handsaw. It's going to be the other one. I'll tell you later on shoot more video about how I cut them out, what I used to cut them out with, and y'all can make your own. That's it! Alrighty. We used the saw, cut them into their proverbial half shapes. Yeah, we're not using the saw to leave this, this fine micro stuff here because of the type of saw I use. Just a cross cut sharp tooth saw. All it is is plastic chunks that have been mangled by the, the saw. The real fine teeth on the saw. Anyway, there they are. There's the rest of them. Mostly together. Now we move on to the next step, which is using Where did it go? Hmm. Off the tool. Okay. We got our plates all cut up. There's four of them, two for each two for each car. Now we're gonna show you how to see. It's gonna be just fine to fit right over the stock plate. Look at that. And don't stick out anymore. I'm going to show you how to clean them up so you can trim them to fit and clean them up. They got this weird residue on the outside. And using a scalpel is a whole lot easier, in my opinion. Just 
trim off the excess right like that. Now don't cut your thumb off. Take the knife and carefully remove a little corner chunk. Carefully because the blade's sharp. My he says if I cut myself again, I'm driving myself to the hospital, so. Yes, that's my wife in the background. She's the one holding the video camera. Yes, as you can tell, it's really flexible in certain directions. We're going to put the racing logo of the company on. As soon as I make up my mind what the hell I want and what style it's going to be. And here we go. Your basic. And you can make it look really pretty or however you want. That's up to you. They're just going to be slammed in and out of the cars and in and out of the trucks. There's one. All done. There's a plate to go with it. It covers it up right like that. And after you drill the holes, drill these holes in the plastic here. And you can do that. That's how we do that. And then you continue with the rest of them. Keep on going. Okay, here we go again. Here they are, all cleaned up. Well, sort of cleaned up. But now we're going to drill holes. I have a regular cordless drill with a 3 8 drill bit in it. And we're just going to drill a hole in it. If I figure out how to hold it. pretty. Now sometimes they'll line up, sometimes they won't, but eh. An argument for another time I guess. Why did I pick such a big hole? So they're easy to put in. And you get these really cool little pretty shavings from them. Yes, it's got extra holes in it. This is a salvage piece from another vehicle uh, off of Maxwell's uh, car. We were building skid plates for it, and this is one that we didn't like, so I chopped it up into parts. And you continue on to the rest of them. And you get one that looks like this. And this is your factory plate. Oh, it's upside down. There's your factory American plate. 
pretty good. And then you put whatever you want on here. Oxcar Racing. I hate my mother-in-law. Whatever. Yeah. Have a nice day.